More recently, the Wenxian lab module named Heavenly Quest was launched and docked successfully with the TNE core module. In addition to being a lab module, the Wenxian module contains living sleeping accommodations for an additional three taconauts, thus allowing the Tiagong 3 space station to host up to six taconauts at any one time. China is now preparing to launch the Menxian laboratory module, which is named Heavily Dream, to rendezvous and dock with the TNE, thus completing the first phase of the Tiagong 3 space station. For the past year, the Chinese Taconauts have been updating and installing equipment on the TNE. Three additional launches are planned for this year, including the Menxian Lab module. The other two launches are going to be the Tianzhu 5 with three Taconauts and the Shenzhou 15 cargo module with supplies and equipment. The plan for the Tiagong 3 space station is to be crewed at all times and operational for at least 10 years. Shown in this image is a timeline for the Chinese space program. Assembling a Long March 5B heavy glyph rocket is currently underway at Wenchang Spaceport, which will be used to launch the Menchian module and complete the construction of the Tiagong 3 space station. Here's a short video of the rocket arriving at the Wenchang Spaceport. The rocket's now scheduled for an early October launch of the Menchian module. Menchian will join two earlier modules, the TNE core module and the Wenchian experiment module, in orbit to complete the initial phase of the T-shaped Tiagong 3 space station. The Menchian module will be greeted in orbit by three members of the Shenzhou 14 mission crew once it docks at the Tiagong 3 space station. The Shenzhou 14 crew who arrived earlier this year are also scheduled to welcome the Shenzhou 15 crew aboard the Tiagong 3 later in the year, making this the first China crew handover. Here's a video of the Menchian module arriving at Wenchang Spaceport. China is also planning to place in orbit, orbit a Hubble-class Yushin optical module telescope in 2024. Yushin will be capable of docking with the Tiagong-3 for any required maintenance and repairs. The Tiagong-3 space station 
could be expanded from three to six modules, if according to China. Such an expansion would probably depend upon other countries joining in to assist with the project. China has stated that many countries have shown interest in working on the project, but no official announcements have been made at this time. This image shows the completion of the Tiagong 3 space station. Here's an artist's rendition of how the Tiagong 3 will look in space. China intends to keep the space station permanently inhabited for at least a decade, gaining human spaceflight experience, conducting a range of experiments, and potentially exploring commercial possibilities. The Tiagong 3 space station has been a very successful program for China so far. Thank you.